Welcome back to the Dark Forces lore play. Last time we infiltrated a really confusing Imperial base and learned all about the Metal Frick, which is used in the Dark Trooper armor. This time we'll infiltrate a really confusing Imperial mine so we can blow it up and slow down Frick production. The mine is located on the 16th moon of the gas giant Gromus. It was nicknamed the Blood Moon because everything is red here. The light, the dirt, and the blood Kyle is about to spill. A decent amount of information on Gromas is actually canon thanks to the book Tarkin. It says that the planet was in the mid-rim in the Perkel sector, which was its location in Legends as well. It was home to an Imperial Depot and a Frick Mine, just like in Legends. It was only mentioned briefly as a possible target for rebel terrorist attacks, which is exactly what we're doing now. Our job is to find the reactor, plant a charge in its thermal exhaust port, and get back out. It's like we get to blow up our own little Death Star. Kyle's probably mumbling the whole time about how Luke Skywalker isn't all that great. I can blow up a reactor too, just you watch. Unfortunately, there really isn't much to talk about here. I've covered, like, the entirety of Gromus' history already. I talked about Frick last time, so I'm gonna go ahead and spoil the boss of this level, our very first encounter with a Dark Trooper. As we saw early on in the game, the Dark Troopers were new Imperial battle droids modeled after Stormtroopers. We saw the Phase 2 quickly and efficiently destroy an entire Rebel base. Kyle isn't quite ready for that, so we'll be fighting a Phase 1. After planning the charge, for whatever reason, that turns on an elevator, and the Dark Trooper emerges. I would think he would have been more effective actually guarding the thermal exhaust port. I don't know why he was hiding underground and waiting until I planted the charge. Anyway, these guys were armed with a shield and a vibro sword. Again, I don't know why. The Phase Zero had guns. The Phase Two had guns. Why did they decide to skip the gun for Phase One? Want to know what would be great? Let's go back tens of thousands of years in technology and give one of our advanced experimental soldiers a sword. There's no explanation for this. And not surprisingly, it goes down very easily. But to be fair, I'm playing the game on easy, don't judge me. Maybe that's why they never saw actual combat. The Phase 1 was used to guard some Imperial installations like this one, but never took part in any actual battles like the Phase 2. With the charge planted, all we have left to do is escape before the base blows up. After Kyle got out, the mines were destroyed, and the Empire never returned, at least as far as we know. That brings today's lore play to a close. If you missed the first parts of this series, you can check them out in this playlist. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.